Do you want to quit your 9 to 5 job and be a content creator or follow your passion and be a videographer or filmmaker or whatever it is, right? If so, watch this video to the end. Let me explain to you my journey of how I quit my 9 to 5 six figure paying job to pursue my passion and I'm still working on my passion. So I can't really say thankfully it worked out, right? So all I can say is I'm still working on it. Let's just start from the beginning. I never finished my post-secondary school. I was never good at school. School was not for me at the time and I finished my high school and I just couldn't go past post-secondary. Like I tried many things. I tried about 12 different things and none of them worked for me. What I did was I started to work minimum wage jobs out there. And then as I started working them, I also started to learn a couple of few new assets, right? So I started off as a dishwasher, then I became a cook in the kitchen, then I went and got my personal training license and my security license became a personal trainer and a security at a spot from there I applied to work for the city and I got the job at the city because of my customer service experience and just working with people in general and that was an amazing job I was getting paid six figures a year about a hundred thousand I don't want it to sound like it's two hundred thousand just about a hundred thousand which is still amazing and then I fell in love with videography which is about six seven years ago I fell in love with videography I started doing it and I was still working my full-time job Whenever I had a day off, I was making it work. I was booking my clients or learning new things or just doing free work. And then from there, I started to get booked a bit more often. I was getting some agencies reaching out to me saying that, hey, we have work for you here, work for you there. I was not making nowhere near my government job. I was making money to a point where I was like, whoa, this actually works. If you put in the work to learn even the business side of things, I wanted to be a videographer. So I would start to learn the business side of things right not just the fun stuff which is like oh run around with your camera and like do this and that make people look cool on camera after two and a half or three years of juggling with both my government job and videography i decided to quit my government job and I was still not making a lot of money on videography at the time but I still decided to do it because I was like all right now I feel confident in my skills and abilities and I know I can make this work I would highly recommend if you guys are in that part of your life where you're like okay maybe I should give it all and just you know jump in I would say first learn and make sure you love what you think you love right I loved a lot of things in my life well, that sounds wrong, but I loved a lot of um, different hobbies in my life. I was, I was a guitarist, I was a magician, I was uh, doing drawing, you know, like all of these things faded away and I don't even touch any of those anymore. You guys need to know that you can fall in love with your passion and turn it into a job because a lot of people turn their passion into jobs and then they end up hating it because it just feels like a regular job at that point, right? So I'm thankful enough that I still love what I do, which is videography and content creation for my own self. Yeah, there's a lot of advice out there that, oh, if you love something, go ahead and just get it done and don't worry about anything else. I would highly recommend you guys refrain from that, especially if you're above a certain age, right? If you're in your early 20s, like 18, 19, 20, yeah, for sure. You know, you might still live with your parents, no bills to be paid, there's no responsibilities. Yeah, for sure, pursue your passion. It might work, it might not work, who cares? You're still young, right? But if you're in your 30s or getting closer to your 40s, you know, of course, pursue your passion, but also be very smart with the way you're going to pursue your passion. It's not going to be like an 18 year old. You can't just act like them. Life struggles is a real thing, guys. As you get older, the struggles also start to add on. Why? Because there's going to be a lot more responsibilities that you guys need to be start like that. That's one of my responsibility. My wife is calling answer hello wife I'm not sleeping now I'm making my YouTube video <laughs> okay fine I'll sleep soon that's one of my responsibilities guys you know once you start getting older right you might get in a relationship you might get married you might have kids your parents are getting older you know you guys can't just start neglecting all of those things, right? So if you're lucky enough to know what your passion is at a very young age in your teens, well, good for you. If you don't know your passion at your teens, which a lot of people don't know and they find out a bit later in life, good for you still. It's just a different route you got to take, right? Like I just said, if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever it is, right? Before you just say, all right, I'm just going to 
say F you to everything and then just go follow my passion. You guys have to be more calculated with your steps. This is exactly how I did it and I'm very thankful I did it that way because if I didn't, it would have given me like a mental, mental anxiety, pressure, stress. Everything bad that can happen would have happened, right? Because being an entrepreneur is not easy no matter what people say. Currently, I am going to be posting on YouTube for the next 180 days every single day, long form and short form. So that is not easy at all. What if there's an emergency in my family or something goes on in my life that I have to go attend to? Obviously, I have to miss that day of YouTube, all right? So how is that going to make me feel like, oh, I want to follow my passion and I don't have a full-time nine to five. And now because of an emergency, I'm going to kind of sway away from my path that I'm trying to take, right? So there's a lot of struggles when it comes to entrepreneurship. A lot of people make it sound easy and they make it sound like it's super lavish lifestyle. Trust me, it's not. It's a lot more work than a nine to five. A nine to five is guaranteed money and entrepreneurship is not guaranteed even one cent. You have to get out there and make it. And trust me, if you guys can make it, you will make over 100 times more than a nine to five. I can guarantee you that. But it does take a lot of discipline, a lot of uh, commitment, a lot, a lot of sacrifices in my opinion too. Sacrifices of your own, right? You don't have to sacrifice, oh, I'm not gonna see my parents or I'm not gonna take care of my wife and my kids and stuff. Not those style of sacrifices talking about yourself like your sleep you might lose a lot of sleep in the beginning a lot of sleep I've lost right um, you might have to attend to phone calls right away when they happen because you don't want to miss an opportunity right and you know there's there's, there's just a lot of um, external factors that also kick in as an entrepreneur right a lot of people are not going to believe you. your friends your families your parents your siblings they're not going to really be even your spouse are not going to believe you in the beginning um, so you have to kind of tackle all of these things in life. You can't just cut everyone off. So that's what I would say to you guys. Pursue your passion. Trust me, this life is supposed to be happy. If you're happy with your 9 to 5 and your night good government job, trust me, stay there. Don't come to this side and be like, oh, maybe this side is going to be better. No, it's, it's not going to be better right but if your happiness is in pursuing your passion trust me pursue your passion don't wait too long because you might be on your last breath and your whole life is going to flash against you and you'll be like damn i wish i just did it if this is how it's going to end i wish i just did it and if i failed so what i'll just do something else to make a living in this world right so that's my mindset every single day guys not all these are productive for me. I'm trying to make sure, you know, hopefully they're productive enough to sustain this entrepreneurship life. But I'm trying my best. And if I fail, it's only my fault because I took full ownership of this life to myself. So I didn't go with a nine to five or give a government my ownership to a point where it's like, all right, guys, you pay me, you know, like, no, 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 all that stuff. If I don't make enough funds this month to pay my rent in my house, it's my fault. I know that already. I will not blame even one person for that, right? So, guys, that's my piece of advice. If you guys are trying to get into this lifestyle, content creation or entrepreneurship, because that seems like the thing where everyone is trying to move into right now, it's not that easy. And please don't make a mistake with uh, how you approach this right approach it but approach it very smart i hope this information gave you some insight of how my life goes right if you guys like this style of video just let me know in the comments below and i will make many more trust me i have so many stories that i can say but i just need to know if you guys want to hear it or not anyways guys thank you so much please make sure to subscribe like and comment peace